Hey guys, welcome to Joe Shark's Fish Keeping. I feel like this is a very important topic to talk about. Also, I don't have any little puffs, so I have too many snails. Which is a sad thing, it's a really bad thing. Anyway, so. Well, I'm sorry, I'm, looking, I'm watching one of the snails and it's like absolutely amazing. I'm going to a fish convention tomorrow, right? I'm not gonna vlog it. Um, I'm thinking I'll vlog the next Aquashella. Which, by the way, I'm getting them early passage. So I'll definitely ask if I'm allowed to vlog there before vlogging, but... Like, legit, I think um, it's good to talk about great etiquette for um, um, going to fish conventions or expos. And interchangeable. Interchangeable, I say convention. People, Other people say expo. Potato, potato, in this case. But I think... It's an idea to, to, you know, like talk about etiquette. Now, obviously, I don't, I kind of just came up with this on the spot because so I wanted an interesting video that wasn't just a sales pitch like my last one was. So, uh, yeah, I came up with this one and I'm like, this one's genius. Crap, I just found an Amazon gift card. How much is this Amazon gift card for? I just found a random, random Amazon gift card. That's cool. Alright, so. One of the things when you need to think about etiquette is like, okay, how do I keep the crowd moving? Now, of course, obviously you can stop at a seller, at a vendor, and they can... But, like, don't just, like, stop and just stare in the middle of the crowd. My parents have done it. I've done it, and I try to do it as little as possible, and, and sometimes it's just unavoidable. Um, but yeah, I have seen people, like, do that. I'm not a person coming from the vendor's side. I hope to be one day. I'm trying to be. So, please, cut me some slack. Also, waiting list for guppies. Sign up, I'll make a waiting list of people's names, and if... I can't find any female guppies, I'll let you know and let you down very politely. But I'm thinking I can. I can give you in this instead. Females. Lots of them. I do have a hustling tank. Anyway, so like, don't just stop in the middle of there and go, oh wow, look at that coral from like the middle of the of the aisle i'm gonna say aisle like it's a food store a grocery store like it's a grocery store but you'll know what i mean in, in the middle of the pathway don't do that also don't let your kids um go wandering about i, I don't know I, I haven't seen this too badly at fish conventions before um but i'm talking about like small children they can not go. I, I've been in small play, in small spaces with small children, and they can bully you over, like nobody's business. They can be little bowling balls. Uh, not to say that children are bad, but like just keep an eye on them. Um. Also, normally, like don't. Huh. I I can't think of any more rules. Um. Don't lie. Don't lie to the, if the fish vendor isn't willing to sell you a, a pistogramma because you have a fish bowl for it, which you shouldn't, or a five gallon, like I have down here, because arguably they require 10 to 20 gallons, depending on how big it is and how mature it is. Um, they require a little bit of space. So don't like lie to them and abuse the animal. Like, if they won't sell it to you, they probably have a good reason for not selling to you. And that's a... And you can ask why, but don't annoy them about it. Don't be annoying um, if they say not to sell anything, if they're not selling to you at that... With that specific fish. Maybe it's, um... Maybe it's a fish that's supposed to, like, look good for them on brand, something like that. Most fish are for sale. I don't know why. They would do it, but if they're not willing to sell you fish, don't no, just go on and find another vendor. They probably have good reason. It may have ick. It may have parasites. You don't know. Just don't mess with it. Not not to say that vendors always have um, 
vendors fish always have parasites. My epistogramma, that's why I'm using him as an example. Um, he does not have parasites. He's a good boy. I think he's a boy. I think he's a he. Don't, like, judge. Um, another reason is know the care requirements. Now, obviously, um, most people will go, oh, well, don't, um, what's it called? Well, don't buy a fish you can't take care of. And obviously, that's true. So, oftentimes, I'll make a little list for myself about fish I want before going into the, um, fish shop, before fish shop, before going into the convention. But sometimes that little, that little nagging part of my brain that goes, oh, you need to, um, you need to buy this fish. This fish is awesome. Like, uh, that, that part can just take over a person. Like, that part, I definitely impulse bought some fish. My first puffer fish, Lil Puff, I impulse bought the crap out of that thing. Impulse. I, I don't. What's past tense for impulse buying? I, I bought. I bought the crap out of that fish when I found him. I'm like, yes. I. I don't. I have a ten gallon. I could probably fit him. I know that this thing doesn't grow big. Um, I've heard. I don't know much, but I'm pretty sure this thing won't grow big by the fact that it says on the tag. <laughs> I don't know how big dwarf pea puffers get, but um, one to two inches, we'll say. For an example, I'm pretty sure it's less than an inch because they are adorable. But um, for um, convenience sake, one to two inches. Um, basically, ask about the fish's care requirements if you can. If the vendor lies to you, sometimes they, sometimes people will do that. Not all of them. A lot of them. Most of them will be truthful. Sometimes. But do a quick Google search before buying a specific fish. That will save you a lot of time and a lot of pain watching your fish die. Um, so don't take on a fish you can't keep. Oftentimes you can't like, buy another one, so, or you can. Now if you come across rare fit, now rare fish are arguably are arguably going to be more expensive, and this leads me into my next point. Don't try to barter or bargain or whatever things, unless the vendor is okay with it. But don't ask if the vendor is okay with it. If they have a sign or you see another person doing it, just go with the normal price. You aren't gonna. It isn't gonna work. It isn't gonna work. Um, you're just gonna have to pay the normal price. If it says five or fifty dollars on the price tag. Don't go, don't try to lowball the vendor. It's obviously not gonna work. It, it's just a bad plan. Um, these people have worked very long and hard. Um, they, they don't waste time. They, they, they do what they need to do for their fish and this gets them money and this gets them support in the fish keeping world, which is obviously a good thing. If you try to lowball them, you're kind of just a jerk. And once again, I don't think it'll work. So yeah. Um, that's basically it. Like and subscribe. Message me on Instagram if you want. Um, guppies or inlows or snails. Or, or coral fags. I can easily put you on the waiting list for that. Um, like and subscribe. Bye-bye.